Hi guys, today I want to show you three semi-advanced techniques about working with high-end, with your hi-hats and other uh, high-pitched percussion instruments so you can inject some energy into your track. So here is my loop. You might already have heard it in the drift uh, video, link is above. So what I often uh, encounter is that people lack some additional pattern layers of hi-hats that will drive some energy. So what people often use is they add ride. So if we had this pattern and we would add ride, this is how it would sound, pretty static. But what if we would add a reverb with very long decay? We are already getting this cool groove. So what we can do next is add a compressor, sidechain it with the kick, with the reach. And we have something more pumpy, which is nice. So let's put it uh, at the end. What I really like uh, to do with the uh, right is to add shifter. Frequency mode, 100% dry wet, and I've added some LFO. So without LFO. And if we add LFO. We have this cool rising tone. So it's up to us to, to, to pick the curve that suits us best. I like that one with a bit of phasing. Let's focus on hi-hats. I think this is nice. So yeah, just use shifter and you can add a bit of delay afterwards. So this is the first bit. Second one is that quite often people add some closed hat and this is the pattern. But what I'm lacking here is a bit of aliveness. So we could, um, we could probably modulate this and write the automation, but we could use an LFO. Let's grab an LFO. So what I will do is I will link the LFO with the decay. I will decrease the rate. And maybe increase this a bit. And let's change it to, for example, triangle. Okay, and I will double this one. And this one I will link with attack. And I will change the range. And let's change it to up, for example. And let's change the rate as well. A bit more. Yeah, so we have this nice, it's more, now it's more organic, it, it's, it's ever morphing. So this is the second technique. The third one would be about using MDD snake. And this is what I've learned from Svarok and the other producers that they will have some sort of sequencer before the drum rack or the just single hat. So with drum rack, we can get like a variety in the tone of the hi-hat and just play with the settings of the MDD snake. So what else also we will have is an extra channel, this one, audio channel that's listening to MDD snake and we will record the output. I'm also having some echo here just to have this bit of rolling groove. Yeah, just you, you want to make sure that the notes are here in the range of the sounds you have in the... the yeah. 
I like that. Yeah, so we got like tons of different hi hats, like effects, small bits we can, we will, we could use in the arrangement. So that's one way to use MDD, and the second one is to use uh, the same kind of idea to have an MDD snake or any other sequencer prior to just a single shot. So this is a sampler with a hi hat note. So what this gives me is an opportunity to play different pitch. So right now, if we would have this guy playing different pitch, we would hear the changes. And this is also nice when we have a hi-hat pattern altering the pitch, because this sounds very organic. I really like it, so let's hear it in the context. Maybe let's turn this guy off. So we have this guy on the right. And let's record it as well. And I'll be playing with the... And we can also play with the, with the decay, for example, or attack of this for some... We can change the step, number of steps, make it polymetric. Okay, that's it just for the purpose of, let's listen, let's turn. So then in the whole, let's turn on the right. And then at some point the house could stop and we could have our different effects. Okay, that would be it. Different ideas for creating a more interesting uh, hi-hat hi patterns, sequences, sequences with using uh, shifter, with using LFO and MDD snake. I hope that was helpful for you. And if you want to learn the basics of the hi-hat pattern, check out this video on the right, right side. Thanks, bye.